Hello, this is Alan Babbitt reporting for the Holland Sentinel. Holland native Kirk Cousins took another step in his quest to become Michigan State's starting quarterback next fall by playing well in Saturday's spring game in East Lansing. Cousins is competing with Keith Nickel of Lowell to become the starter. Here are comments from both players and coaches. I'm just going to continue on as we as we um, as we have, give them opportunities to play and evaluate those opportunities, give them opportunities to play with the ones and slash the twos. But I would say our wide receivers is much the same thing, and so are our tight ends. You just say the same about the running backs. Um, you know, we can play a lot of guys, and I've said earlier that we have depth on this team right now. We have a little bit of depth. Um, now, it's, maybe it's because some guys, in terms of the running backs, there's you know Osterbon, and so this is where we're at, but. I think our wide receiver situation, um, you know, you got four or five guys out there making plays. I saw Fred Smith making plays. I saw Miles make a couple, uh, Miles White. So, uh, you know, those are positive things. We need to build on those things. But uh, I feel good about where they're at. I know how it's going to go. I think everybody kind of pictures, you know, some making plays in their head. Um, but they usually don't happen uh, like that. I mean, BJ got me out on that, you know, on our sideline with that catch in the end zone. And Dave Duran made some catches. Brian Lynn to come, Miles White. I think they made me look better than I actually played, but uh, our old, young O-line, we had a real young O-line, and uh, they stepped up and played the, played as hard as they possibly could. I said brought you know, Keith in, or, or that's why he wants uh, multiple quarterbacks here within the same years, because he wants them to be pushed and wants them to, to feel that pressure from one another, and um, when I committed here, I expected that. You know, I don't expect to go play in the Big Ten and, and walk into any situation. I don't want to back in or walk into any situation, so we're just going to keep competing, and it's the situation I'm in, and, and you know, nothing's really changed. How about you come a game of, can you tap this one? <laughs> <laughs> you were scoring. You were scoring. I, just, I just wanted to win. I just wanted to win the game, and we didn't do that, which is why it's a little bittersweet. But um, yeah, I mean, we were able to make some plays. I think the receivers stepped up, and, and the offensive line gave me time. I mean, I'm pretty dependent on the offensive line giving us time, and the receivers, you know, making the plays. And so it wasn't necessarily me. It was, you know, a team job of just coming back and, and making the plays when we had to. Um, I don't know if it was a candy top this. We were just trying to win, and, and you know, we had to make plays to win. You were pretty excited on the tying touchdown. You <laughs> ran all the way to the other end zone. Yeah, I, uh, I'm an intense. I'm an intense individual, and uh, that's just. That's just the intensity I was bringing to the game, and um, it's just unfortunate we didn't come out with a win. Just How happy were you to see the extra point after the celebration penalty? Well, it was great. I mean, it was great to see that. Uh Obviously, that's what we needed to, to keep the game going. Um, I'm the holder on that situation, and I'm actually the backup holder. And uh, I joke with the guys that since holding isn't my main responsibility, I don't take it as seriously as it should be taken sometimes. And so I, I, uh, you know, was a little nervous going into the game about holding, but uh, it went out all right. Dan Conway kicked Kirk a lot can, of great field. Do you expect this to be resolved? Uh, the quarterback situation? Um, it's hard to say. You know, I think because Keith's such a great player um, that. Uh, you know, there's great competition there. It's just going to keep going, um, and that's on the coaches to figure out. That's not my job. My job is to just come in there every day and, and give my best and work my tail off, and um, that's what I'm going to continue to do. This is Alan Babbitt reporting for the Holland Sentinel.